Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we're making cornmeal porridge. Oh yes, it's breakfast time and we're doing cornmeal porridge. So stay tuned to Jamaican Cooking 101. Welcome back. So we have our ingredients here and without further ado, let us begin. We have our cow's milk. You could substitute that using coconut milk. We have some refined cornmeal, salt, vanilla, cinnamon, some nutmeg, some brown sugar, and we also have some plain room temperature water. So let's get started quickly. We're going to measure out one and a half cups of refined cornmeal. And we already have our water on the fire being heated. We're gonna bring that to a boil. You could add salt to the water or you could add it to the cornmeal. But for this recipe, I'm not adding the salt. You know salt brings out the flavor, so you can go ahead and add it. I'm adding room temperature water to the refined cornmeal simply because I cannot put the, the cornmeal into the hot water or else it's going to start lumping right after adding it so we add some room temperature water to it just to get it moist enough to add to that boiling water and you can see the consistency here it's nothing too runny just enough all right so we have the water we have brought it to a boil and we're now going to combine the cornmeal mixture with the boiling water we're using a wooden spoon and i find that the wooden spoon helps to get the porridge nice and creamy all right so we're mixing as we pour in the the mixture of cornmeal and water we're continuously stirring because we don't want any lumps now you continuously stir until it has a thickened now we're noticing that it is starting to become thick so we are going to cover so that when it starts popping it doesn't splash all over the cooker so we're going to lower the flame and cover it at this point you can cover it totally and lower the flame as i said and give that around five minutes to for the starch granules to continue to expand all right we'll check back on it after five minutes but in the meantime let us get the other ingredients prepared so i'm using some ground cinnamon you could use the stick and grate it and i'm also using some nutmeg and those of you who are not familiar with the nutmeg it comes in a trash well a, well it's a seed that is found encased in a trash and the seed itself is encased in a, what is known as the maize now the maize is said to be very flavorful so you could add just a little to the porridge whether it's in the boiling water or at this stage i think most persons prefer to put it in the water all right but you don't serve the maize in the porridge so you want to take that out before you start serving up all right you're noticing that the cornmeal the porridge is now becoming very thick so definitely lower the flame and it will soon be time for us to add the remaining ingredients so let us quickly grate some nutmeg you could buy the powdered nutmeg or you could grate it yourself so i'm going in for just a small amount the amount of nutmeg you use is up to you but for this recipe i'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon and when i get it together you'll see that it actually comes out to just about that quarter all right in addition to the um the nutmeg you could add sweeteners whether it be sugar or condensed milk if you are into honey then that's fine and you certainly will need some vanilla whether it be white or clear vanilla or the dark one you can use milk coconut milk or you can use cow's milk soy milk 
but you know soy milk if you're adding that it will be a different method all right and that's just about a cup i'm also adding ground cinnamon and it's equal to the amount of nutmeg all right and that's a quarter of a teaspoon now we are going to be checking on the pot the cornmeal has gotten enough time to cook through so it's now ready for us to add the milk and flavorings all right you can see the consistency and we're going in with just about the one cup of milk but you might want to add a little more or a little less dependent on how thick you want the porridge so i've combined the cinnamon and nutmeg with the milk and i'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla i'm using the dark one today and i'm gonna give that a quick stir if you're using sugar you could have added these dry ingredients to the sugar because they're very lightweight and you have to be careful that they don't clump together with the heat all right so give that a quick stir and then we're going in to combine with the cooked cornmeal you'll know if the cornmeal is cooked by putting a bit between your index finger and thumb just rubbing it for a little while and you'll see if the granules get soft all right now we're stirring consistently and we're gonna make sure that we get everything in if it is sticking at any point you want to gently stir so that that doesn't take place once the milk is added you increase the likelihood of the porridge being burnt or sticking to the bottom of the pot so you want to lower the flame and stir continuously right so we have this and now it is really silky and creamy and we're free of lumps all right if you want the porridge to be more refined you could run it through the blender but at this point it has the consistency of a custard and you know if the porridge is ready by walking your finger through the back of the wooden spoon all right we are going to cover but this part is a special one that allows the steam to come out so you could cover it or you could leave the pot a jarred, the cover a jarred, or sometimes we call it half mass in Jamaica or there's a little technique where you just put the wooden spoon across the pot and it won't boil over all right so we have just about a minute left on the porridge giving it a final stir and allowing it just to cook through now this is beautiful and ready for serving we're going to add a bit of condensed milk you know for me porridge is not porridge without a little condensed milk so i'm adding just about three tablespoons remember i didn't add the sugar so this is my sweetener so we're adding that three tablespoons of condensed milk give it a final stir and let the heat that's in the pot just finish it off all right and then we are ready to serve up now we usually have cornmeal porridge as part of a breakfast because lord you know when you have cornmeal porridge you get hungry quickly so you want to have something else to eat with it be it a sandwich or some fried dumplings whatever it is all right and you know some of us have it in small bowl a cup or we want it in a big bowl so i'm gonna serve up two versions i'm gonna have a small bowl and see how far we can get with it all right so i've taken out the maize and i am pouring into a small bowl and this is beautiful you can see it for yourself so i want you to try this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you i'm just grating a bit of cinnamon on top you could drizzle a bit of condensed milk if you like however you like to serve up your porridge i have some more porridge so i'm gonna serve it up in a larger bowl so you can see how much it is really that you get from the amount we started off with all right you can check our website for the recipes and be sure to continue to like subscribe and share now we appreciate you watching our videos and really appreciate the comments they help us they serve as a guide 
to help us to improve on what we are doing so thank you so much so here we have it jamaican cornmeal porridge breakfast or you can serve up to young children for children who are going through the weaning process this porridge is ideal you could add some more milk to it or you could serve it up as is maybe you'd like to reduce some of the flavorings but however you like it go right ahead and make this dish and enjoy the process happy cooking everyone